fudgicles. Yes, I made a flipping fudge of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Some people want to call it a bodge, but I just wanted to get the door back on the flipping shed. Yeah, well, the back of the barn anyway. Now, the thing about this um, joint I done here, it ain't really a joint. Really. It's just a few boards glued and lapped over each other. And it is a bodge. And it's just a solution to a problem. Because the door was rotten. So I had to replace a few bits of wood in a hurry. And the weather's been shit out there, so I thought I couldn't be bothered. I'll be absolutely honest with you, I just couldn't be bothered to do what you could call a proper job. Besides, there isn't really enough meat on the door. And the door really needs replacing. It's, just, it's a summer job. It's not really a job in the winter. I don't fancy it anyway. It's all out there. Yeah, it's keep raining, it do. So what we're going to do to stop this this part of the door that we've fixed onto the door from falling off. Yes, we have got these kind of overlaps here, but they ain't enough. That just isn't enough. It's, it's enough to hold it for now, but when the glue starts giving a little bit, it's um, potentially to fall off. So do you know what's going to come to the rescue? I'll tell you what's going to come to the rescue. My broom. <laughs> yes, the broom. Hello. It's going to come to... Oof. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Anyway, come to, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, come to the rescue, it will. Not the broom head, no. <laughs> no. The broom handle. Yeah. So all you need is a broom handle. In fact, here's one I prepared earlier. And a drill bit uh, of the right size. And any one I had of the, the, the correct size, in this case it was like 22 point something millimetres, was that one. So I had to put an extension. Otherwise I'd use my uh, uh, auger bits. But anyway, I drilled it all into there, to about there, okay? So it literally goes in between these two pieces of wood. It is all glued and sandwiched together. Uh, <clears throat> into there like so. And what we're going to do is, we're going to drive our wood into the hole that I have created. Now, in theory, you could, do, you could just ram it in there, no trouble at all. But in practice, it's a different thing. Because when you whack a little glue around there, like you do, you, you know, okay, you whack all your glue around your, your stick. You, put the, you put, put the slippery stuff around your wood like that, yeah? And then you ram that in there, ram that in there as hard as you can. The problem is it's hydraulic. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Anyway, it, your wood could hydraulic. So that is a problem. So what you do is, now a bit like the old little wooden dowels you buy, the little beach ones, they're ribbed, aren't they? Yeah, your wood. Uh, it, well, it prevents the hydraulic if your wood is ribbed. Well, I'm not going to rib the dowels. So all you do is, you grab a little hand plane like so, or you can sand it if you want, and this you create some flats on your wood. A bit like a circumcision, but not. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm creating a few little flats on there. And what that'll do is that'll allow the, the glue, as you drive it into your the wood into its hole, all the wet stuff, hence the glue, can then slide up past your shaft as you drive it into your port, your door. All right? So it's, it's a reasonably tight your hole, so it's gonna take a bit of welly, but also you've got to make sure your hole is clean. Okay, before you put your wood into the hole, make sure the hole is clean. <laughs> Yeah, and not not dry, not dry as a nun's nasty. No, there you go, there you go. Is that okay? That's nice and clean in there now. So what we've got to do is we've got to make sure we've got glue in there. So I'll put it in a few times like that. Make sure it's a, a like a plug of glue, and then as we drive it in, hopefully it'll come down the sides. Also, I'll apply a little bit of glue if I don't see anything coming out. All right, I'll I'll apply glue. So we do that. Let's whack our wood into its hole. <laughs> <laughs> How much in the window can you do? Anyway, anyway, <laughs> come on glue. It's a bit cold actually. It's warm in here though, so it'll be fine in here. But if you're um, using PVA, for instance, you need to make sure your temperature is above 10 degrees, which it is in here at the moment. In fact, it's quite toasty because I've got the wood burner going. And this is all insulated in here, which is good. So I'm going to put a load of glue on there like so, and a load on its end. You've got to do the tip. You don't need to squeeze it, no. You just, you just apply it to its tip like so. And then we're going to whack a load in there as well. And you could use a stick uh, to push it right in if you want. But I'm not going to bother. No. Now, if you're worried about this um, big giant dowel actually um, working its way out, what you can actually do is you can whack a couple of pins in, in the side that'll stop it from sliding out. But first of all, let's we'll see if we can get the thin thing in there in the first place first. All right. It's, it's quite tight in places. All right, it's going in. All right, it's a bit of an angle. <laughs> That's what happens when you use a spade a bit that long. Went all over the place. It's got a right, 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 right old angle, but that, 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 that won't matter. That won't matter. I'm going to put two of these in anyway. So uh, it's 
not enough glue on there at the minute. Let's just make sure we have enough glue hang on, all the way around. And the flats, what they do, as you say, they allow the glue to travel past the shaft, you know, you, past your wood, and that way it won't hydraulic. So, like I say, it is a bodge. And this goes right up to there, it does. And there we go. Make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, there's a bit of glue on the floor. Oh, you can't waste your glue. No. <laughs> oh, it says a bodge. In it goes. And when I feel it hard, yeah, it's when you have to stop and you wait. No, you don't. You chop it off. Or you can wait for the glue to dry. I'm feeling, ah, I'm feeling it now. It's hitting the end. It's starting hydraulic on the end. Definitely it. Tone change is a dead giveaway. So I've used your finger. <laughs> because I forgot my rag. It's over there. Like so. It's like, you know, the whole point of this channel, really, I just want people to be able to do things without being stressed and worried about... Okay, I've wiped it all off now. Without being stressed and worried about things, we tell, can't do it like that! Don't do it like that! Don't do it like that! Oh, I ain't got the tools out. Oh, you got the tools. You can't do it. No, it's not, it's not what the channel's about. We want to find alternative methods as well, you know, other ways of doing things, you see. And this method I've done here, right, I know it's a bodge, and normally I wouldn't do that. If I was constructing the door, I definitely wouldn't be doing that. I'd be, well, if I was constructing the door, I'd be doing more than tenons, you know? Um, but I just want to repair it. It's just a repair. That's all it is. And it's easy. Because all you need is a spade bit and your better half broom. Just don't tell her. Just so she'll be wondering why it's shorter. <laughs> she'll think she's got taller. So yeah, yeah, everyone's a winner. Like they are. <laughs> so you just need a spade bit. In this case, I had to use an extension just to drill the hole. But where this can be used, utilised again, let's say, for instance, you're making a bookshelf, for instance, and it's going to have end panels, these bookshelves, and it's going to be fitted within a fixed space. But it's all going to be, fit, you know, it's got to be a bookshelf or a cabinet or something. So it's got end panels to so hang your doors on or what have you. Well, why are you worried about actually having blind joints, you know, joints that don't go right, right through the ends of the panels? It doesn't matter. You could literally glue it all together, clamp it up, put some screws in if you want, like, but to make it a little bit stronger, drill your holes, like I've done here, from the outside into the shelf or into the top and bottom um, shelf or, you know, top and bottom panels, and, uh, and just whack some dowels in. So that way you'll have a doweled joint instead of just relying on the screws. Now, I think that's a darn sight stronger than using flipping pocket screws. I hate them things. <laughs> it's just, blimey, if, I, if, I, if, if you call that a bodge, pocket school, pocket school, po <laughs> pocket hole joinery is the biggest bodge of them all. Hmm? You might as well just screw it together, pretty much. Half the time we see people using pocket, hole, pocket holes, it's totally unnecessary. Like putting drawers together using pocket hole screws. And you end up with all these long elongated slots down the sides of your drawer boxes. It looks flipping awful! It looks ridiculous. Well, if you could do that, you might as well just put the screws in the end in the first place. It's silly. Don't like them. No. Either them proper join me or do your own bodges like this one. <laughs> now, the other thing you could actually do, if you're worried about uh, come, draw your, your wood coming out of its hole, you can put a little saw cut in the end and put a little thin wedge in the end. So as you drive it in, the end of the dowel, in this case your broom handle, well, I remember the hardwood as well, hardwood broom handle, it will actually spread on the end. Yeah, the little slit will spread and then the wood, the little wedge, will, yeah, will actually then drive into the slit and spread, spread, yeah, yeah, spread the wood inside the joint as you impact it. So there's a way of making it stay. Otherwise, just spread a couple of little fixings in the side of it and they can't slide out. The likelihood of it sliding out is pretty darn slim anyway. Anyway, that's a bodge. That's my bodge of today. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that's a, an idea. Maybe that's a video idea. We do a bodge of the day. Because <laughs> that's definitely a bodge. You know, you'd be better off with a proper joint. But if that's the only option you've got, and you ain't got the tools or necessarily the skills to be able to do a proper job, but you just want to get over, well, how easy is it just to whack a flipping hole <laughs> in there, as long as going between the two pieces of wood, and then whacking your big dowel through, you know, with a big hammer, whacking it in with a load of glue, well then quite frankly, you've got a doweled joint of a 22 millimetre, in this case, 22.7 millimetre hardwood. 
I don't know, it's just an idea, isn't it? You don't have to do it like that. You just get somebody in the dirt if you want, or get a new door. Doodle doo. Don't forget, boop the like button to help the channel, you know, and maybe subscribe and the little bell icon because I knew that one first video in your pocket every time I upload another video. And I said that really quickly. Ah, oh, practice makes perfect. Toodaloo!